But I kind of want some, I want some out of the box thinking here today. So like I'm asking from, if you were an administrator, what would you do to improve the game? And like, I want specific changes, not from a coach's perspective or a player's perspective, like some out of the box thinking would be great. I'll, 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 I'll go. I, it's just, for me, it's space on the field. And I think we're going to see a better brand of rugby if there's more space on the field. So how do we do that? I, I like the 40 20 rule. Um, the idea of you know the 40 meter line and kicking into opposition 22 and if you can do that um, you get the line out and so you know that that enforces teams to then put two players in the backfield creates more space in the front line and you may see more teams kind of take that risk and play with ball in hand a bit more uh, rather than just mitigate risk completely and put the ball up in the air off nine or ten um, I don't mind that rule. I'd like to see it trialled in the Northern Hemisphere because uh, I think the Northern Hemisphere is different to the Southern Hemisphere uh, with the pitches, with the weather, with the style of rugby. It's quite attritional here. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing that trial because it's only been really been trialled in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, but I wouldn't see it. Wouldn't mind seeing it trialled at a top level in the in the Northern Hemisphere. I think the um, the space thing that you you picked up on there is pretty pretty important because defences are so tight now. Um, one sensible suggestion I saw was to increase the width of the field. You know, even if you increased it by five to 10 metres, so the, the, the pitch is slightly wider, it stretches defenders, there's bigger gaps between defences, which people have got to be more mobile, you know, fitter, better conditioned to, to cover those spaces. Because at the moment, it's, it's literally like brick walls. But for me, the, the big debate is here, for me, is how do we attract new supporters to rugby? How do we get the 15-year-old kid who's watching the game at home to get excited about watching international rugby um, and want to watch it again and want to go out and play and practice the moves he's seen or whatever. And certainly when I was a kid, that you know, I saw that. I saw that when I watched Wales, when I watched the All Blacks, and you know, all these cool little moves and the, the amount of space on the p- pitch. You envisage being that person. You went out in the field and you practiced it and you talked about it. Do you think kids now were going out and when they're 15, with their 15, 16-year-old mates practice in driving malls people suggesting like we need to speed things up or do away with those it's ridiculous because then we become a different sport altogether i think the game is good because it's inclusive there is that kind of old adage of there's a role for everyone within the team um but yeah you know scrums had a massive issue about the resets that was a theme for a while they cleaned that up you know there's hardly ever any resets anymore the sort of dead time around the scrum has picked up and um it's, it's been improved, you know? So I think where we're now, just they're going to have to look for something to just refine it, improve it, make it slightly better to watch. Because I'm, I'm with you. Like, we just don't want to watch kick, kick, kick. I want to see people with ball in hand. <laughs>